Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. How much house can you afford with an FHA loan? Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. How much house can you afford with an FHA loan? Just to reiterate, FHA stands for Federal Housing Administration. FHA.org is the website where you could get all kinds of details about an FHA loan. Uh, sorry, FHA.gov is, is the website. Now, how do I know how much I qualify for? So there's a few basics if you want to do some quick math by yourself that we're going to go over. But first, I want to let you know why an FHA loan could be or not be the right place for you. So first of all, FHA is awesome for people that have low credit scores. So if your score is in the 600s, anywhere down to 600, there are some lenders that go down to 580, but most of them, uh, actually right now currently in 2020, most of them are at 640. There are some that go down to 600, so beware about that. So just to be safe, get your credit score 6640 and watch our video about credit truth about credit inquiries and your credit score and all that good stuff under our credit playlist. Now, credit is one reason why people will need to go FHA. The other is if you have a bankruptcy or a, a, a foreclosure, FHA is super lenient. You can buy a house as little as two to three years later. Conventional is, is more than that, five to seven years. So make sure that you know or talk to your local lender about that. Um, the other reason people would go FHA is debt to income ratio 55%. So that's why we're, that's what we're going to use to calculate how much can you afford with an FHA loan. So stay tuned for that in just a second. Hang, hang in there with us. Um, beware on FHA loans of the max limit in your area. So in Texas, in the area that I'm in, for example, the max is $331,750. So for our clients buying a home of three seventy-five dollars and they have very little to put down, they're not able to do an FHA loan unless they can get a gift because the limit is too high. So make sure that you know what your limit uh, is in your area. You could just Google or go to the FHA website and put you know, max loan limits and, and a chart will come up for your county. Okay, so make sure you do that. Now, how do you know how much you can afford? Again, we're talking about how much house can you afford with an FHA loan? We are almost done, so here it is. You take your gross monthly income, so that's monthly gross before taxes are taken out. Let's just say that you make $60,000 a year as a W-2 employee. We take 60,000 divided by 12, and that gives us $5,000 a month. So your housing, payment cannot exceed 40 generally 43 percent is what we like to see and what the automated system likes to see on a housing payment so 43 percent of five thousand dollars a month is two thousand one hundred and fifty that means that your total payment with tax insurance pmi and homeowners dues all prorated cannot exceed $2,150. Now, you heard me say a little while ago, 55%. That means that your total debt, including the housing payment plus all your other debt, cannot exceed 55%. So 55% of uh, $5,000 a month is $2,750. So that means that your total debts, your housing payment, plus anything else, a car, credit card payments, minimums per month cannot exceed $2,750. So if your housing payment was $2,100 and your total debt cannot exceed $2,750, it means that your debts cannot exceed $650 a month. So what happens is some people have a lot more debt than the 650. So what it does is it eats away and erodes the max housing that they can afford because the total debt cannot exceed that 55%. So it's very important to talk to uh, about with your local lender. And the other thing to keep in mind, uh, we do have other videos about this, but when we count your monthly debts, for example, 
even if you're in forbearance on something, we have to count that payment in your debt ratio. And student loans, FHA requires us to count 1% of the loan balances regardless of an IDR, in income driven repayment. So that's really important to know. If you've got $80,000 worth of student loans, that's an $800 per month payment that we're gonna be counting in your debt load. So it's really important you talk to a lender about that. It might be a reason to get coached up on credit so you can hop over to a conventional. But today we're talking about how much house can you afford with an FHA loan. 55% of your gross monthly income can be towards debt. And then you subtract from that your debt, the housing payment, housing payment cannot exceed 43%. So with all of these things that I've mentioned, I hope this gives you some great talking points. Talk to your referred local lender about the specifics to you. I hope you got a lot from this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.